Hello guys and welcome back to another video. More tends to be better and GPU memory is no exception to this. Yes, I am looking at you 3060 and the 12 gigabytes of marketing BS. Back in 2013, majority of GPUs came with 2 gigabytes of memory and only the most expensive ones pushed this to 4 gigabytes or above. The aftermarket cards usually came in few flavors from the factory stock to pre-overclocked ones and what we look at today are two of the EVGA's superclocked 770s. At first glance they do look identical but there's one major difference. Because the 770 was available with either 2 or 4 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory I thought it would be interesting to compare the two in bunch of games and see if having double the amount of memory actually matters with cards of this age. I've used games and settings that would exceed 2GB of allocated VRAM in attempt to hurt the lesser equipped card, let's first try Heaven Benchmark. And as expected, the GK104 did not double its power by having double the memory. So the testing is over, I'll see you in the next one. Not so quick, so how about some games? Starting off in 2019's Remnant from the Ashes and using the high graphical settings. The game runs surprisingly smooth on the 7070 and when allowed, the game engine used over 3GB of VRAM. The 4GB card used 30 watts more and ran a tiny bit hotter with a slightly higher core boost clock. The 2GB card managed to beat the 4GB version by a couple of frames which was really interesting. Witcher 3 next and with the high settings again. The game engine used slightly above 2 gigs of VRAM and the game ran at 40 FPS on average across both cards. This was nearly identical performance which is really bizarre. Also, how is the game engine only pulling 1.5 gigabytes of VRAM with the 2 gig card but using the same settings? Next game tested was Metro 2033 Redux, with very high quality settings and 16 times filtering enabled. This game, being older, is not as VRAM demanding and the actual use is just over 1GB. And the results are identical, within the margin of an error, of course. I'm starting to think there's a theme here. Next up is GTA 5. Just casually taking on some off-roading and with most of the settings on high, the game engine chewed up 3.6GB of available memory. Yet still, nearly identical results of 117fps on average, so again, no winner here. Finally, Cyberpunk 2077. Using the lowest possible in-game graphical setting, both cards average just under 26 FPS. Same story, the 2 gig card is on the limit, yet still performing exactly as the 4 gig card. The game was borderline unplayable, but we shall be back to throw some more punches and using more powerful cards soon. Closing off the game testing with 2018's Forza Horizon 4. Using the low preset, I saw 77.5 FPS with the 4GB card and just, when I say just, 73 FPS with the 2GB model. This might be the only game where we saw better performance, but only just. So there you have it guys. What we've learned today is that having double the VRAM does not translate into double the performance. What? Jokes aside, I'm not so sure if spending the extra 70 USD over the 2GB version made any sense back in the day. The extra power consumption is not beneficial either. I was expecting somewhat better results with the 4GB card, thinking, surely, once you starve the card of available memory, things go wrong and slower. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this test. Did you ever own a 770? And if so, was it the 2 or 4GB model? As ever, drop me a comment down below, I do enjoy reading your experiences. See if you can also hit that like button and perhaps consider subscribing to my channel, I do appreciate it. And that is all I had for you today, so I hope to see you all in the next one.